Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. And we are discussing today some not very good news, unfortunately, following the events that happened last week with Justin Thomas. If you're not aware of this, Justin Thomas last week playing in the third round of the Century Tournament of Champions used some homophobic and derogatory language after he missed a putt. Um, this was caught on audio on camera and, you know, quite rightly, it stirred up quite a lot of, um, I guess, uh, conflicts or controversy. Um, you know, a lot of people were obviously very offended, very taken back by the language. It's not, I think it's just for him. There's no real excuse when you're on the PJ Tour, you are um, you are just on camera, on microphones all the time. Um, it wasn't something I don't think he planned or wanted uh, people to hear. Just an unfortunate reaction, but absolutely no excuse whatsoever to use that type of language, especially when he's such a influential character. And, um, you know, that's it's very unfortunate. But I wanted to give you guys some more information about what's happened kind of with this issue and since then, because it's kind of caused quite a lot of drama and it's really you know, it's it's really causing, I guess, a stir in the golf world. I mean, a lot of people are talking about it. I, you know, do not condone that kind of language or behavior at all. I want to make that absolutely clear. Um, I think at any stage in most of our lives, we've unfortunately said something we didn't mean and we didn't want people to hear. And it's an unfortunate time. I. I don't know Justin personally, I don't, but you know, I'm sure he'll be not feeling great at the moment about things. But I wanted to tell you guys some, because some really interesting things have happened since this. First of all, there's been a call for Justin Thomas to be fined or given some sort of punishment by the PGA Tour. It does look like this is going to happen we're not sure as yet what that punishment will be. It looks like it could be just be a fine. There was a call for him to basically not be allowed to enter the next few events. Um, we don't have that information as yet. I think they are deciding on that. But one thing which has happened is that Ralph Lauren or RLX more exactly, have dropped uh, Justin Thomas. They obviously have sponsored him, I believe, since he came onto the PGA Tour, since he turned professional. So it's quite a long-standing sponsorship, and I'm sure it's very one that's been very lucrative for him. But they have dropped him as an ambassador and as a sponsor of their clothing and of their brand. Um, is it expected? Maybe not. I, I hadn't seen anyone say that his brand should drop him. It will be interesting to see if Titleist, Footjoy, um, you know, some of his other brands he represents follow suit. I, I don't know what will happen. I kind of wouldn't expect them to, but I also wouldn't have expected maybe RLX to drop him. Um, Justin, after this happened, did apologize quite a lot. And, you know, kind of, it was fair enough. He, he owned up to his actions. He didn't make any excuses. He said it's not, not good enough. And, you know, no excuses for his behavior, which was good to see. And he apologized a lot for it. Um, it's just one of those unfortunate things and, you know, he needs to be 
punished for it and kind of just made an example out of, I guess, because it's just not acceptable behavior. And when you are a role model for so many people, so many young people, um, it's unfortunately kind of unacceptable. So I wanted to read out a thing that um, Ralph Lauren or RLX uh, put out as to, you know, basically why they've dropped him and um you know justin thomas apparently said to the golf channel after this happened there's just no excuse i'm an adult i'm a grown man uh there's absolutely no reason for me to say anything like that it's terrible i'm extremely embarrassed ralph lauren then uh, released a statement i believe it was today saying um we are disheartened by Mr. Thomas's recent language, which is entirely inconsistent with our values. While we acknowledge that he has apologized and recognizes the severity of his words, he is a paid ambassador for our brand and his actions conflict with the inclusive, inclusive culture that we strive to uphold. In reflecting on the responsibility we have to all our stakeholders, we have decided to discontinue our sponsorship of Mr. Thomas at this time. So yeah, that um, that's what they had to say. I mean, it does look like he will be fined by the PJ Tour. Um, apparently the PJ Tour s released a statement said, as as he expressed after his round, we agree that Justin's comment was unacceptable. Um, so it does look like there will be further punishment to come. And as soon as I know more, I will be letting you guys know and probably making another video on it just to keep you updated on this situation. Very unfortunate situation, but maybe for the best in the long run, to make sure things like this don't happen again, show people that this kind of behavior isn't condoned and isn't acceptable, and you know that no one is going to stand behind it and defend it, I think is a um is an important message to get across at this particular moment. So that's pretty much all we know at this time. It's a real shame because Justin Thomas was actually also doing very well in the tournament last week before this happened. He only, I think, missed out on the playoff by one shot. And when you're going into a final round with um, all of this having happened the night before, he even said that he hardly slept. And after his interview in the last round and through the last round, he said normally he's very focused and thinking about each shot and winning the tournament. He said he just couldn't, he wasn't thinking about that at all. And he was just, um, I guess, very apologetic, which is good to see. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys. I mean, I don't think any of us can, I hope none of us condone that kind of behavior. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Do you think he should be punished more or less? Um, let me know in the comments down below. I will let you guys know as soon as I know more. And it's an unfortunate situation, but here we are. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment your thoughts down below, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Remember, grip it and rip it.